Welcome back to the Life of a Gentleman podcast. Here is where the guys discuss, debate, and consider all aspects of living like a true gentleman. Rich and Anton will consider entrepreneurship, success, fashion and styling, family life, and everything in between. So sit back, relax, and enjoy our latest saunter into the life of a gentleman. Guys, take it away. Welcome back, everybody. Uh, good to see everybody again. Uh, we're going to open up this week's podcast uh, talking about a subject that Rich and I uh, had a little discussion on the back end about. Um, and shout to Wallow because he kind of sparked uh, this conversation that we, we had. And the conversation was talking about are relationships worth more than money or currency? And I thought it was a very thought-provoking uh, question. I have my views on it, what I think. Um, but Rich, where are you at uh, with this topic, with the situation? What do you think? <clears throat> yeah, no, it's a very good thought-provoking subject. And, um, you know, I have to agree uh, with Wallow's point of view. I believe he was saying, you know, the relationship actually could be more beneficial in the long run. And um, if you really think about it, if somebody offered you a uh, sum of money, um, or opportunity to work with, uh, let's say somebody on Shark Tank. Right. You know, either you give you, we'll give you ten grand, or or you link up with one of the sharks. You know, what are you gonna pick? Uh, take the ten grand. I mean, yeah, you might be able to do a little something with it. Go where you're trying to go. But on the other hand, in business, like those guys have big relationships, connections. Right. They can link you in, plug you in to global distribution. Uh, cheaper factories, cheaper uh, production, lower uh, shipping costs, everything right. with the relationships. So to me, I, I go towards the relationships because uh, there's a lot of people that are uh, more experienced, smarter than I am. They can lead me somewhere where I can go farther than what that initial little bit of money could take. Right. That's my impression. Right. On it, you know, I tend to agree. Um, yeah. Money, it gives you kind of immediacy, right? And if it's not yeah. money without relationships, it's kind of put you on the, uh, an island, right? I mean, everything you can do, of course, you can do things uh, with money. If you didn't, that, you know, if you didn't have the money. But if you don't have the relationships or if you burn relationships in order to get the money, then that's like a, that's a nail in the coffin. Um, because, yeah. What do they say? No man is an island. Um, things like that. Uh, good business is built on relationships. Life is about relationships. So if you yeah. are looking for the money grab, you could probably get it. But I think it, in the long term, limits how successful you can be because people are going to know that if you're that dude, then he's just for self. He's just looking to do a money grab and he's out. So, yeah, I, I agree. I think you've got to be able to build relationships. And that might mean that you don't get that money as quick as you'd like to. But in the long term, I remember somebody was saying there was this thing that was going around. Would you want a million dollars or some, some dollar amount or dinner with Jay-Z, right? So some people were just like, yeah, give me the money, you know? And they're like, well, why do I want to eat with Jay-Z? Well, I mean, I don't know. You might have a good impression on Jay-Z. You might be able to get into a circle. He might drop some dimes and some gems on you. He might... Uh, plug you into certain people he might open your eyes to certain things so do i think that i could do a ton with a million dollars yeah i could do a ton with a million dollars but if you develop and establish a relationship with somebody that has millions upon millions of dollars and you can get plugged into a situation then in the long run i think that's where, where you're going to win yeah, exactly. And um, I guess everybody would have their own dollar amount where they tap out. Right, right. <laughs> so to you speak. like a million. You know, geez, but <laughs> I'm <Yeah>. good. <laughs> yeah, I'm good. Yeah. Uh, you know, so so everybody's individual goals could play a part there. I could see that for sure. But, you know, as we we're talking too, I just thought about another aspect of this, like uh, almost philosophical. Uh, Let's go. Let's get deep. <laughs> well, yeah, would, would you rather, you know, because when you, when we first said this, our relationship's worth more than money. I just thought about, my, my mind instantly went towards business because I love entrepreneurship. Right. Um, 
But then at the same time, I've seen other posts too. Would you rather be rich and uh, sad or happy, um, but have a regular quote unquote lifestyle? You know, you have family and friends that love you and care about you and you have good relationships. Or you could be somebody who's rich, who has nobody in their life. A lot of people still in the comment section were still saying, I'll take the money and I'll figure it out. You know, I'll find new friends and family and whatever, you know. Uh, and it just shows you where, where people's at with their with their thinking. Um, and it's, it's not for me to judge, but I think relationships are better. I mean, you think about having your kids, your spouse. I mean, you wouldn't trade them for any dollar amount that's out there. Right, right. right. No. So, I mean, I think the, the level-headed thinking is relationships always going to win out. No, nobody can, uh, no dollar amount can replace uh, your family and your loved ones. Yeah, and then you think about it, how many people who are filthy rich commit suicide? And, you know, yeah. they're depressed and they have super, so I think you got to, like, you, nobody wants to be dirt poor, right? But I think everybody wants to be happy. Most people want to be happy and, and a lot of people want to be rich. Nobody wants to be poor. But I think the people who say they take the money over relationships are people that for they don't have much. They don't have uh, good relationships. They don't have sound. Like if you got if you got just enough to to take care, you know, if you got your basic necessities of life, you'd never trade your family for for money. But if you don't yeah. have anything at all, you got bad relationships, you don't come from much, you like, give me the money. You know what I'm saying? I'm, <laughs> I'm going to take the uh, money. Yeah. So it kind of comes from a mindset, I would think. And you know, I guess people will prove me wrong in the comments or, or what they think. Um, but if you don't have much of anything, you're willing to trade it for what you think is everything. And a lot of times that's money. You know, a lot of times. For, for a lot of people think money is the cure-all. But life and history have to told us that it's not because the multitude of people who are unhappy who kill themselves who you know unfortunately uh suffer from mental breakdowns and, and have more money than you could ever imagine so if, if we don't have healthy sound relationships whether it be in business or in our family lives then what's the point of having the yeah. money like you know you you're just gonna be like Scrooge McDuck swimming in your money by yourself. You know what I'm saying? Like, what's the point of that? What's the point of that? Yeah, no, nah, it does doesn't really make much sense. Um, you know, I was thinking too. You know, um, not that not that we're sitting on a, um, you know, international conglomerate, but with our business, you know, that that we're into, you know, the Harrison Blake Apparel. Right. Uh, for those that don't know, we're custom clothiers as well as podcasters. <laughs> um. <laughs> um there's been people who wanted to be part of this business uh and you were like the first person that actually kind of linked up and joined in with me um and the funny thing is it, it's even on a small scale you know what i mean being a small business you still run into people who uh, sometimes don't see the value in linking up and building as a team and unit um they kind of rather just want to do uh everything on their own or come in the gate um, I've had people come to me and say they want to be a 50% owner of the business um, straight up walking in the door um, based off of I don't know what, right. you know, right. just based off their the social media presence, right. or different things they've tried to tell me. And, um, and it's like they don't value the relationship aspect. I mean, we get DMs all the time. People want to know, you know, our connections and you know, or the back end of the business, how, how can they get tapped in? And it's like, eh, it doesn't work like that. It's right. not how the world works, right. you know? Yeah, no, I think you gotta, you gotta build with people that are like-minded and who have a similar drives and focuses. Not that you're going to always have the same vision, but you need, and that's where I think the relationship aspect of this whole thing comes in is because you need, sometimes you need a sounding board. You need somebody to be able to bounce yeah. an idea off of. Um, and that's, you go back to no man is an island situation. It's like, you know, if you just, if you just, and there's some brilliant people out here, but I think that the smarter you are, what do they say? I appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> 
You, you're welcome. I, I couldn't, I couldn't, you, I couldn't you, help. You, you're, you're welcome, I Rich. couldn't help but pat myself on the back. Right, right. <laughs> I'm about to shut it no, tears. Yeah. Just keep going. Right, right. Just keep going. Appreciate that, man. I know you felt that way about me. No, but go ahead. Like, gosh darn it. <laughs> it's, but like I was saying, there's some brilliant people out here. But it seems like the smarter yeah. a person is and the, and the more business minded they are and the more they got their thing together, the more they understand that they need good people around them. And you know, I think myself yep. for that. <laughs> like, uh, I like the compliment. I like to okay. thank me. Yeah, I like, for the Snoop. Yeah. <laughs> like, I like to thank I like me. To thank me. Yeah. For, for being your right <laughs> no, hand. But, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously though, um, when especially you know talking about the business aspect, yeah, there's so many people that you can learn from. Let's say you know somebody even gave you a low amount, ten, twenty thousand. I will give you this, or you can work with, you know, this expert in the field, uh, you, you name it, whoever your mentor is, you know, whoever you look up to in business, you know, Jeff Bezos, I don't know, Mr. Wonderful, I don't know, yeah. Diddy, Buffett, you know, yeah. rich, rich, rich and anti, you know? <laughs> <laughs> like I'll give you $500 or you can work <laughs> right. with rich you and anti, you can either get $500 or yeah, right, you can work with these guys, like, you know, give me the five, give, give me the, give me the 500, <laughs> give me Give me the five. Uh, I'll be all right. I'll <laughs> but, but really, though, you think about that. Sometimes having a mentor that can show you the way or open up these doors for you, that's got to be worth more yep. than just having the money on your own. Yep. Any entrepreneur knows, man, you're going to make so many mistakes on your own. That's why they have coaches out there yeah. um, to help you navigate and, and miss those pitfalls and and make your way through the maze show you the way so to me it is you know this conversation is almost a no-brainer you gotta go with the relationships yeah and you gotta be because genuine i think it. i think in the end yeah you can go farther with, yeah. with the help yeah no definitely but but that's what you was like you're saying in the end you're gonna be better off for it you know if you, like if you want to just be the smash and dash you come in get the money and you know kick the door waving the four four you know just get the money and break <laughs> right. it, yeah. it, it, it's it, like we it, like i like to say it's a, it, it's not sustainable it's not sustainable no and then people are going no. to and you don't know how fast whatever circle you're moving in that your name especially if you're trying to be in, in a room with movers and shakers and people of, of influence and all kinds of stuff your name will get passed around quicker than you know you know you, than you don't even know and you'll kill yourself before you ever, ever gave yourself a chance off a of money grab. And yeah, you got the cash, but now what are you doing? And then when you break it down to, you know, your relationships. Yeah, it's a one time. Yeah, locally and, and familiarly, like you gotta, yeah, you gotta take the relationships. You gotta, you know, pretty good dude. Leave your, yeah. you know, abandon. Life, life is about people. Yeah, it is. Life is about people. Um, you know, the older you get, the more you realize that a little bit more. Yeah. Um. And uh, that money, you know, the initial amount that you maybe got, the lump sum, you, you're probably going to run out of that. Yeah, if it ain't life-changing uh, money, you, is it worth it? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. If, yeah, because, I mean, unless you're just that savvy and, and you flip it and make some investments, but chances are uh, you're going to do better in the long run, um, linking up with some people who really know what's going on, who, who've who done what you, yeah. what you want to do or gone where you're trying to go, you know, that. I guess that's uh, in summary for me on this one. I, I I can't even change my mind on this one. I can't see it from, from any other way. But uh, it, you know, I'd love to see people's comments and reaction. If and maybe there is a dollar amount, you guys, if you want, so, leave those comments. But see, I'm you know? I'm sitting here thinking, right? All right, and I know we 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 we're feeling like we're, we're wrapping up, but let, let let me put this out there real quick, right? No, yeah. Somebody comes to us and says, uh, guys. I think you guys can do better apart. Anton. Yeah. Rich, I'm going to give you a million and a half dollars. <laughs> Leave this dude at the curb. It's not an easy decision to make, right? We, well, I, I, we'll still hang out. <laughs> <laughs> right. Though, right. It's not. Uh, Sorry. Rich, nah, it's not but, nah, I got you. you yeah, no, saying? that, but that. But that in that scenario, it's kind of like, well, you're saying leave somebody behind. That's kind of different too, though, because then you just burned a relationship, right? 
Right. You know. Yep. And, and, and you know, it would be unfortunate. You know. <laughs> You know, no, no, it would hurt. In all seriousness, it would hurt. No, right? It would, it would, yeah, <laughs> let's stick it together on a social level. Yeah, yeah um, like, but yeah, like, um, no, but yeah, no. Uh, as, as far that, but that does change things. You're you're saying leave somebody, and and honestly, I wouldn't do that because that's just not how I'm built. Right? You know, it, it doesn't make sense to me to just burn because we, we're more than just working together as business. We're friends. Yeah, we, I wouldn't just. You know, you you don't burn a relationship with friends <laughs> for for, for, for a quick you know, million and a half for a million bucks. I don't know. <laughs> maybe like, maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, you like, said oh, and a half, yeah, right? Yeah, right. And a half. <laughs> taxes taken. Taxes taken out. Oh, right. Tax free. <laughs> <laughs> no taxes. <laughs> tax it really was it's like starting to get was, different. Yeah, it was yeah. like two point three to start. It's, it's a million and a half after. <laughs> right. <laughs> I, when you start asking those questions, you know you see where I'm leading. Yeah, no, like, right? <laughs> Wait a minute, intriguing. <laughs> the calculator out, right? Intriguing. No, but I mean, it's you know, like you said, that people do have numbers, you know. But I do think yeah. overall, and, and we're making a little bit light of it, but ultimately, yeah. the most important thing you can have is building good, sound relationships with people. Yeah. People being a solid individual, um, being somebody yeah. when your name is brought up. It's not like eh, this guy's, you know, a little mm-hmm. bit of a flake outside of even the money. Just being a solid mm-hmm. individual that when, in, when it talks about in relationships, you know, when you're talking about in whatever relationships you're in, that you, you're, you're a, a solid individual. Yep. And, that, and that's all you can ask for. You said that's that's what businesses are uh, built off of, you know, building relationships and uh, having a good reputation. But I mean, as far as family and, and close friends are concerned, of course, guys, we're, we're not even suggesting that, you know, you can put a price on your family. But um, we'd love to know what you guys think. Uh, leave us a comment. And don't forget, if you have a show idea, something that we can even debate on our Unstitched segment, don't forget to leave us that as well. We'd love to uh, have some fresh ideas and debate some things for you guys. So that's it for me, Anton. Um, you got anything to close us out? No, I mean, I'm good. I'm looking forward to, you know, getting some ideas and some things that people would like to hear us debate and talk about, even our long form, like we're doing now. If you guys have some topics, yeah. hit us with them. We'd love to talk about them. And don't be afraid. Leave your comments. Uh, hit us. Let us know what you think. Challenge our ideas. Maybe you'll open our eyes to some things. We don't know at all. We don't know much of anything at all. We're just two dads over here trying to <laughs> have a little fun with the people. That's it. But that's all I got, Rich. All right. Till next time, guys, take care.